The Mark of the Angel by Nancy Houston presents the ongoing issue of oppression of women in relationships. The year 1957, in Paris, the wounds of World War II have barely begun to heal when a love triangle comes into play. A distant and damaged German maid, Sapi, marries her employer, Raphael, who is a French musician. Yet, ironically, she falls in love with the Jewish instrument maker, Andre. A novel that juxtaposes love and war with a central theme of betrayal. Safi, who is blood of a Nazi, upholds a problematic romance with a Jewish man, and this relationship allows the author to collate the two divergent elements of love and war. Nevertheless, Safi is oppressed in her marriage with Raphael as well as her affair with Andre when these relationships are analyzed from numerous aspects which can be applied to the world around us. One of those aspects being sexual objectification. While Safi's husband, Raphael, makes love to her, she offers no resistance. She doesn't as much as bat an eyelash, which indicates that Safi has no sexual desire whatsoever. Rather, she lets her body be treated as an object out of respect for Raphael, or fear perhaps. Much of this sexual objectification today is still present through media, specifically music. For instance, the hit song Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. This song promotes domestication of men in relationships, how Raphael domesticated Sapi. However, since the Second World War, marriage laws have developed in regards to intimacy. 26 years ago, in 1992, marital rape was made illegal in Canada, yet is still lawful in 53 other countries. Similarly, Sapi is silenced in her affair with Andre through violence. To specify, when Safi discovers that Andre contributes to the production of war weapons, she flames in anger, and Andre slaps her, as hard as he can, just once, just to calm her down. And this wouldn't be the first time Andre uses violence against Safi throughout the novel. In fact, even today, 20-50% to 50 women in relationships experience partner violence on a day-to-day -day basis. According to Daily O News, Adeli air hostess Anita Badra just this month was brutally murdered by her husband and had an ongoing abusive relationship with him for many years now, which is just one of many cases which dem demonstrate how even in present day women suffer in the same circumstances as Safi did many years ago. Every 9 seconds a woman like Anita and Safi are abused by their partner. That's over 60 women just in the duration of my presentation. Correspondingly, in The Mark of the Angel, Safi is oppressed to the typical stereotypes as a wife. Even during her weakening pregnancy in which she faced numerous health concerns, Safi still does all the housework unrelentingly. Unrelentingly meaning she didn't give up. Despite now being the owner of the house and a mother-to-be, Safi was still performing maid duties in pain. It is just presumed that Raphael was not going to mop the floors for her. Unfortunately, 60 years later, most men still wouldn't. Today, 46% of our economy consists of female workers. Despite working equal hours as men, these women are still held to the stereotypes of cooking and cleaning. Who determines these stereotypes? You wonder? Society does. You do. Once again, referring to the media, which heavily influences today's society, movies such as Bad Moms are based off these stereotypes, which additionally occur.
no BPA, no MSG, no BHA, no BHT, no sesame, no soy, and of course, no nuts or eggs or milk. The protagonist, Amy, lives the typical busy mom lifestyle, always cooking, cleaning, and looking after the kids. When such things are commonly viewed by newer generations, the oppression of females in relationships is deemed acceptable by a majority of people who conform society and continue to build these unrealistic expectations for women. A recent article released by Kate Kenyon discusses how race and class influence the extent to which women are oppressed in their relationships. Kenyon also mentions that by gradually overcoming racism and classism, we are overcoming oppression as a whole, which further indicates improvement in society. Referring back to the novel, the extent to which Safi was oppressed was influenced by her class as a maid. Had she have been of a higher working class, Raphael wouldn't have been able to force himself on her so easily, yet he did, as she was his maid. As can be seen, Safi was oppressed in her marriage and affair sexually, violently, and stereotypically. Author Nancy Houston presents this through character and plot development. In spite of a few regulation changes, the issue is mostly still ongoing and influenced by media. As Malala Yousafzai once said, we cannot all exceed when half of us are held back. Feel free to visit www.slwp.com to sign the relevant pledge against oppression. If the males in this very room don't grow up to be abusive in relationships with females, and the females don't allow them to do so, we can build a stronger future together to overcome the oppression of females in relationships. Thank you.